We're going to be exploring grouping, and this is for our database management systems, SQL, where we previously looked at code in MySQL, and we are going to be looking over some more examples that are continuing our notes from previous where we dealt with aggregative functions, and this can be found in the playlist link below the like button. But here with grouping, we apply the aggregate functions to a subgroup of tuples in a relation. Each subgroup of tuples consists of a set of types that have the same value for the group attributes. So we're going to get more into this in a second, but remember that an aggregate is where we have something like a max, min, average, we have count. We use all of this right here and we can break things up. So that's what we're going to do with our group. We're breaking things up into subgroups. So SQL has a group by clause for specifying the group attributes, which must also appear in the select clause. So just like our aggregates, this needs to appear in select, not from, not where, but select. We have our four subgroups here. So this is just an example. Let's just focus on this one for now. So let's just say we're dealing with a high school. We have freshmen, sophomore, junior, and seniors. Now we can have many elements of students inside of here, each one belonging to a specific class. Like let's say we have subgroups. There's three freshmen, 15 sophomore, 10 juniors and 4 seniors. That's how we would divide this. Now what if we want to divide it further, like by gender? Well we can. Look at this one. We have male and female right here. So we can divide this 3 into 2 and 1. 2 males, 2 females. And this is our subgroup right here. We can have subgroups inside of our subgroups. So we can get super detailed. Next we have a really good example. It's query 20. For each department, retrieve the department number, the number of employees in the department, and the average salary. So we know it's going to be in our select, the number of employees in the department. This we're going to use an aggregate function for. This is going to be count, and we just want all of them, right? So we're just going to count, and we have this star right here. We have our average salary, so we have average, and we pass in salary, and then we have our department number as well. So to get our count, the number of employees, we're going to have to use our from employee right here and we want to group by the department number because it's saying for each department retrieve the department number because it's saying for each department so for each department it means we want to group by the department number just some notes before we go more into this according to MySQL standards we cannot have any other attributes in our select aggregate function we have something like this however we do need the department number so we can decide what we're looking at because without the department number we would have like count and average salary but what are we taking the count and average salary of so we need a department number. We can have more than one group in group by. So like right here, we can have multiple groups. Um, the wording is a little bit weird here, but basically this group by right here, if we end these lines, we can have more than just one group inside of it. So have more than one here. And that's how we would get like this male to female or any other subgroups that we would want. And this is how we would look at it. So let's say we have this table right here. We want to group by our department numbers. We can see all our fives go here, fours go here, ones go here. We count how many we have in each, and then we average the salary. So that's how we would do with that information. Now, if we wanted to, we can have a where, but we gotta be careful on how we use that. And we're gonna go over that and more information on having clause, summary, and more. And that's in the playlist link below the like button.